Greetings and welcome to Let's Play Teresia, dear Emily. We got kind of stuck the last time. Kinda. A pantry that looks into one, two, 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 four, one. Yes, that's one. We got kind of stuck the last time. I have no idea where to go. I have no open clues or something. Well, I know what. Kinda what I need to do, I need a uh, bucket for in here, but alas, I have no idea where to find one. Perhaps in one of the other rooms? And I missed something? I don't know. I will look for one. There were these uh, crates. I'm pretty sure one of these contains uh, a bucket or something. Like is this a bucket here? Is that the shells? What? Ow. The frozen skin and eyes collapse on top of me. Blood begins to drip from several new cuts. Oh, come on. Yeah. Ooh, open it. Yeah. Open it. Great. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nope. Oops. Whatever. Uh, it, I guess it's time to use a elixir. Elixir on body. I drink the medicine from the elixir. Oh, they don't heal you for full, like the first one. Whoops. Okay, I guess I shouldn't be so careless with my health. <sighs> well, I have the feeling I have to look for something in here. Seriously, if one of these boxes is like, oh, there's something inside that doesn't kill you, then I'm feeling pretty pissed. Don't want anything. What? Shouldn't search the ship. Okay, fuck this. Let's leave. What was over there again? This nice comfy room. There's a lot of stuff in here, oh really? Wait. Uh, Useful. Nothing really catches my eye. Hmm. What well, I mean, inventory I could use? Nope, not really. The white towel, I could use this to clear out the fire. Um, I somehow don't think so. Something over here? Nope. I'm pretty sure it's it in one of these alcoves that I didn't check in the maze part. I can't go in there, but I can go in there. Water comes out, but won't reach the fire. Let's use this. Aww. I'm pretty sure you could if you just wanted to. Flames crackle in front of the door. The number of odd shelves. Old shelves. Hmm. Really catch a side. All the kitchen comes with some poke. Okay, guess we go to the hallway. I guess we go back to the maze and see if we find anything there. 
I'm pretty sure I have nothing to get rid of the bugs in any of these rooms. And we can go in there. The insects cover the wooden box filled with grain. The jars on the shelves used for the food, but it's been eaten by the insects. For just a moment, I think there's something shiny in the middle of the swamp of insects. Let's use a towel. Aww, the axe. Kill these bugs with an axe. You can do this. Aww. Two by four. Swing it. I swing the 2.4 to the swarm of insects. It hits a cluster of them with a sickening crunch. The swarm will cover us in no time and soon my 2.4 is covered with them. I quickly let go of 2.4. It disappears in the crawling carpet of insects. Well, that didn't work out like I planned to. Uh, read them a story. The map. I don't think I can use this here. Books, but the food is stored here. And the things, cooking utensils, and the sink in the center. Hmm. Well, the hallway. I wasn't at the uppermost. Oh, that was no. Is this the door with the chicken on it? Cheep, 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 cheep. I should heal myself. Oh, oh well. We go down again and check what else there might be. There was this circuit thing I didn't, I uh, couldn't use or couldn't do something there. I should have used the axe or something to hit it. I don't know. <clears throat> There's a bucket or a flame thrower or. I don't know. There, I haven't been in this area. Hmm. Let me go to this area quick and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back and there was nothing in both of these dead ends. Unless I don't feel like walking back, I will just load my game. Sure, some people will be like, mm, I enjoy of the chicken. Shut up. <laughs> Simple as that. <sighs> There's nothing. There was this strange box with a lid. It's somewhere closed again. Use a two by four by it. Put it down. I try pulling the box. Use a two by four. Oh. I slowly open the box with a two by four. A blade flies out of the box. Wait for me. It slams in a 2.4, shattering it. Oh! Uh, okay. 
Okay. It's a bubble hose, it might be useful. Uh. Oh. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. Wait. Okay, now there are not only traps that can kill you, but there are also traps that you have to somehow disarm. That is it. Oh well. Well, like I said, the easiest way to play this game would be like save, use a 2x4 with every trap that there is, and then just reload. I should do this. Catch hose. I think I can use this hose to spray the fire. Oh, really? You are a very smart girl. I turn on the faucet. The water runs through the hose and out the other end. I can probably reach this fire with this. I point the hose at the fire and let the water spray out. The flames begin to get smaller. The water douses the flame, leaving nothing but smoke. I take the hose off the force and I decide to take it with me again. I will use a rubber hose. But at least I can keep going now. Yay! The cafeteria is full of chairs and tables arranged in neat lines. Okay, it looks interesting. Nothing really catches my eye. Okay, or not. <laughs> Great, nothing really catches your eye. The desk is covered in random stuff. I notice a notepad in the pile of junk. Destroy the swarms with the fires of hell. I search inside the desk. I bump into something that falls off of the desk and rolls across the floor. Uh, I search inside the desk. I notice a blowtorch sitting on the ground. I guess this is what fell out of the desk earlier. Now I can use the fire. I have to examine the blowtorch, I decided to take it with me. Yeah, okay. I search inside the desk. The moment I touch the desk, a needle flies out of it, impaling my hand. Blood drips from my palm. How many... I look under the table and see something sharp protounding from it. <laughs> I search... A I see a two light under the table. Let me guess, an uh, elixir? Not inside! Un I see a two light. There's nothing on top of the table. Is there something below? Nothing really catches my eye. Fine! I don't care. Uh, exit to the hallway. <coughs> Like it's broken. Adjacent room. Fine, we have a blowtorch now. Scary. The sponge kitchen lights are dimly lit. Let's, let's blow the chicken. I don't think I can use this here. Okay. Well, let's blow some bucks. Brain bucks. Yes, let's save. Just in case I fuck up or something. Like, oh, I blow these things up now. Mm, I'm dead. You never know with this game. This game wants to fucking murder you. Blowtorch this. Use blowtorch. Ignite the blowtorch and hold it over the desk. Insect starts to disperse. The departure reveals a carcass of a chicken. Aww. That looks like a very strange chicken. Wait. What is this? There's a key embedded in the dead chicken. Huh. The key starts to glow wet from the heat of the blowtorch. I guess if I touch it, I burn myself. But it's cooled it off. Grab key this towel. I wrap the towel around my hand and reach for the key. The towel hisses and starts to steam. 
I can see that start to melt. I yank on it and the key comes out. But I feel something sickening. The key has an image of a chicken on it. The shape of the key reminds me of the dog key. I decide to take this chicken key with me. The frozen towel melted and is now worn out. I decide to throw the towel away. Okay. Mm, let's burn this. Piece of it falls off. I just had to leave the blowtorch behind. Oh, great! Uh, what about the other rooms? Okay, is this depending on where I use the blowtorch? Should I have to do something differently? Perhaps I fucked up horribly and now can't within the game. That would be kind of bad. Does this game have multiple endings? <laughs> yes, chicken. Let's open the chicken door. Use chicken key. I insert the chicken key into the keyhole and turn it. It turns smoothly in the lock. It clicks open. Oh, let's open it. Open the door. Turn the door. Open it. Move on. Good. That's not how chickens do. What is this? Uh, there are several switches on the panel. There's the white blood on the surface of the button. Uh -huh. Is there anything strange about this button? This button is very well used. But to use Let's try blood. Oh, let's take the buttons no also right. I thought you try pressing the switch. Then it turns on. The panel lights up, illuminating my surroundings. At the same time I hear a loud click from a door far away. Ah Okay the door to the north opened, I guess. Yeah, oh. The moment I touch the panel, I hear a noise come from the door. When I grab the knob, as I saw the door was already unlocked. I push open the heavy door and go to the other side. Oh joy. It smells like blood. There isn't even a light. Both those small, dark rooms continue off into the darkness. This looks like a prison. All around me is a stench of blood and rotting flesh. I feel like I'm going insane. The smell of dead people. This, this isn't a normal person. No. What am I doing in a place like this? I gently put my hand onto my wound. All these strange traps. Who could be after me? Why do they want to get me? If they want to kill me, why don't they just do it already? As the fear becomes more and more powerful, so does my anger. Why can't I remember my own past? I feel like someone is laughing at me. I can't die here. I can't die like this. I take a step forward. Uh, this looks interesting. The moment I walk in, I feel something strange. Something squirming around. There's something here. It's not a box as box I saw earlier. A strange something. From the walls, the ceiling. I feel a strange presence. I focus on the wall nearby. Okay. <coughs> This... what is it? Thousands of tiny red beads cover the prison wall. Red beads? They squirm across the walls like a patchy living carpet. It almost seems like they are trying to tell me something. 